Welcome to Electra Online. Here we're going to review the efficiency of a heat engine. It's actually a very simple concept, although sometimes they confuse you in the textbook because they use different equations to calculate the same thing. But if you look at the diagram, it essentially tells everything. This box here represents a heat engine. The heat engine is capable of grabbing heat from a source, a hot reservoir, and utilizing some of the heat to do work and the remainder is then exhausted to the outside, essentially called the cold reservoir. So we take the amount of heat taken into the system as Q hot, let's say it's 1,000 joules. Of that 1,000 joules, we do 250 joules of work, not us, but the engine of course, and then the remainder is then dumped into the cold reservoir. It's heat wasted, not utilized at all. And we're trying to minimize the amount of heat we waste, we throw away, Minimize, yep, and then we try to maximize the amount of work we do from the heat that we get from the uh, hot reservoir. Of course, the more work we can do with the amount of heat that we're given, the more efficient the engine becomes because the efficiency is defined as the work uh, done by the engine divided by the amount of heat drawn in from the hot reservoir. Of course, we can then look at the amount of work done, which is simply the amount of heat coming in minus the amount of heat going out. The difference is the work done, so we can actually write it like this. It's the exact same equation. Or if we divide the denominator into the denominator, Q hot divided by Q hot is one, and then minus Q cold over Q hot. So essentially, to maximize the efficiency, you want to reduce this ratio by as much as possible. In other words, you want to exhaust as little heat as possible and utilize as much of the heat you draw in as possible to do the work but they all mean the exact same thing. They all do exactly the same thing. It's simply the efficiency equation. So now what we're going to do is plug in the numbers and hopefully we'll get the same result all three times. Over here we have Q hot, that's a thousand joules minus 750 joules divided by a thousand joules which is equal to 250 joules divided by a thousand joules which is equal to 25 percent again and here we can write this as 1 minus Q cold which is 750 joules divided by a thousand joules which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 which is equal to 0 0.25 which is equal to 25%. So in each case, you can see that in this example, the efficiency is 25%, which means we utilize 25% of the heat that comes in from the hot reservoir, and then we waste 75% of the heat coming in that we cannot utilize, and that is the heat engine. You might wonder, well, what is the maximum efficiency we can gain? Well, we will talk about that in a later video when we talk about the Carnot engine, and that is how it's done.